So I played some games yesterday and overall I did pretty well. I went six and three. You also notice there's an Evelyn game on my match history and two of the first three games were completely controlled by an Evelyn. So I was like, oh my God, Evelyn's OP. So I decided to play Evelyn and I did not do that well. It's a lot harder to play the champ than some people make it look. But then later on during the day, I played three stomp games in a row. Like the Stereos game, me and Singer got perfect scores and we didn't even get the MVP. MF got the MVP. So every lane won and the enemy just wouldn't FF. It was actually mind blowing to me. I think I'll roll the clip of that. I don't know if I'm going to show any of the game up to this point because it's been really boring, but I'm freaking fed. Sayana, I don't know if she's flash. Okay, she did not have flash. Do you I don't think. Opposing me now? Okay, good flash. And yeah, they still don't want FF. It's uh, kind of a mystery to me. Like, this is what. This is not gonna work out for you, dude. Okay, dude. This game as well lasted 21 minutes and their cane got 20 kills. So he got an average of one kill per minute, which is just absolutely insane. And for all my deaths, it was just pretty much cane one-shotting me. The guy was smurfing. But yeah, both these games were stomps. They should have only last 15 minutes. And same with this Singe game, actually. There was just no chance the game was going to win. Like, I had a free lane with Singed. Okay. What are you doing? What are Yeah. Kill and that's the game right there. This game, the enemy had a really weird comp. Like, yeah, we see the Pantheon is going to be top. Pretty much for sure. I mean, he has TP, but looking at their champs, I had absolutely no idea. Like, it could have been even like fiddle top for all I know. Pantheon jungle, maybe. And this is actually unfortunate for Zed. He got absolutely dumped on with the counter, but Zed will completely outscale Lucian. If I was Zed here, I would start like cloth four pot and then just survive the laning phase. Maybe even go TP. Honestly, like, people are going to be like, ah, oh, dude, TP. You just need to survive to like six till you can all in Lucian. First. Okay, good start for bot lane. As far as my runes this game, I didn't really explain them, but I'm going airy and I'm getting that 10% CDR from the blue tree or purple tree or whatever at level 10. And so I'm going to have a lot of CDR this game. I feel like that could be pretty good. And yeah, this is my 80% almost Teemo. And we'll see if it's going to be able to win this game and carry our bot lane who's already feeding. Blinded him. The heck was that trade? It was nuts. The trade was nuts. He's a corrupting potion. He doesn't even have freaking damage items. Does he have a knight? No, he doesn't. I have to flash. Holy crap. Like, what is wrong with this champion? Again, it's one of those things where, like, our mid matchup, I just have to survive till six, but still, I get corrupting potion early. I'll scale him. Whatever. I just gotta survive. He's gonna TV back and he's probably gonna just jump on me, maybe. Well, I have a lot of creeps. Should definitely go on him right here. Of course, the fiddle's here, like perfect timing, because there's a wave here and I gotta fight him on the wave or, like, I'm screwed, basically. There's literally nothing I can do about that. Literally not anything I can do. Like, I could have a ward here. He didn't hold, though, which is interesting. I'm surprised he didn't just let the wave push into him and then just deny me farm. Alright, now I have my freaking ult, so. You can have fun with that. When he jumps on me, I just pop my R right on his face. That was bad though to drop it back there. I needed it to be like up here more so I can farm. Oh, I got 11 more seconds till I can drop another one. Yep. Are you dead here? No. Are you serious? I got a cloth. I feel like I can fight him if he just fights me 1v1. Yeah, this is like the best thing, I think. Got the mushroom off. Another one. He actually could be dead here easily. Oh, he's just gonna miss that wave, I guess. 
Can't let him hit that. Like was coming. What? Who just flashed? Oh, fiddle flash. Or, wait, what? Yeah. Let's go, dude. I'm back in it now. Yeah, he's getting it. For sure, I think. Oh, he popped a control word. Or is, uh... He's dead, dude. What is he doing? What is he doing? Ooh, cloud drag's up. This is actually really good. I'm just walking down for I want to do these doubles, but nah. I'm walking down for the cloud drag. Uh, see, like... Okay, well, we got it. I don't know about starting cloud drag, though. Like, deny vision and then just... Make the enemy come to us. I think we definitely win the fight, but it's like we could have lost the cloud drag so easy. But we didn't. I'm blind of the vein, so she's not doing any damage. There we go. Oh, that's an ace. Dude, I'm literally getting first pick every game. You know what they need to do? You know what function that league really needs? Is the ability to swap picks. Like for example, this guy was like, yo, pick me Senna. And he said it kind of last minute too, but I don't even have Senna, so it doesn't matter. But in the champs, like I should be able to swap not champions, but swap pick order. The problem with that though, is if that was the case, then you wouldn't need to buy every single champion and Riot would lose money. So they're not gonna do that. Riot likes the current system where if I wanna be ultra competitive, I have to buy every single champion, including Senna, which I'm never gonna play Senna in my life. But I have to buy the champion if I wanna swap picks. And see, so yeah, I ended up getting countered by Set. Apparently this guy thinks that Set is the team of counter, which I actually am not sure. I've played this lane a few times. It can go either way. Rank 30 RENA. It's not very high, I feel like. For somebody that only plays R, is there really that much competition for Ari? I waste this thing, that's really good. Multi can. Splash. Surprised he didn't flash already. Why didn't he flash? Actually, it wasn't the best trade for him. Thank you. I don't know if that mushroom hit. If it did, he might be dead. Yes, my mushroom hit. Holy crap, nice. I think I wouldn't have gone for that if my team was doing well. But yeah, rank 30 Ari. Oh man, rank 30 Ari gets dove. Yeah, they're pinging him, dude. The rank 30 Ari is just heavy, man. 0-3. Rough game for the rank 30 Ari. Hope somehow my team managed to just run it down so hard that there was just nothing I could do. Yeah, I'm going same build. I'm literally just going for full AP scaling build. And last game it just wasn't enough. Like I could not carry against a 606 echo at like it was just so early in the game. Hopefully I can buy and then TP on one of these minions where he kills them all. Yep. I don't know if I'm gonna get full HP though. Cute. Ooh, okay. I think it was worth to not get full HP there to make sure the minions can push in. I could actually kill him here too. If he over he's overstaying hard right now. And Echo's here. Why is he overstaying for this? He shouldn't overstay, dude. He's got flash though. We'll see. He could flash on me. Wow, that was so dumb of him. Why did he stay? Oh man. Oh wait, that's Echo not getting shut down. I thought it was Echo getting shut down. Light him. Holy crap. No! I walked into it, I feel. Making kind of a big play here. I'm TPing bot. I don't know if they have a ward here, but our bot lane is getting kind of abused. And yeah, looks like we did. Kill. Yes. second kill but oh. 19 minutes score is 5 18 enemy refused to ff why ff when you know our next is pretty much getting two shotted by a q auto and a mushroom he's almost dead go mid open <laughs> bro it's not even like you can do anything to stop us from pushing at this point like it's open no one's stopping us but usually open is like earlier when like, we're not in their base. Man, these games are such stomps, dude. Can I just get a good game? Like, holy crap. And man, I'm worth 550 gold. Welp, I see the Syndra. I'm like, can I play cast mid? Guy is just, he's just gonna play this champ no matter what, I guess. Cast is really well in the Syndra. Does Silas do well in the Syndra? Probably not. I will say, I do feel like the Shen did counterpick himself. I don't feel like Shen runs well into Darius at all. And whoa, Silas actually 1v1s. That guy, that's crazy. This is good. This is really good. Really good setup for Hecarim. 
Hey, he flashes. Nice, dude. That's crazy. I did not think that he had the potential. Like, he got behind the freaking guy and pushed him towards us. I didn't think he could do that. I'm just coming back. Oh, there is a jump too. Thank you. And he's coming back top with, by the way, this is a good herald. I don't know earlier if I include the part where I talked about good heralds. Okay, that was a bad CS. But yeah, the herald is going to kill this guy. He's tower and he's screwed. He's dead. <laughs> Holy crap, he's screwed, bro. There's Shen again. I gotta not use my pull, because then he can ult if I pull. Wait, I, oh, I have no ult. Are we dead? Bad. <laughs> he splashes. Hey, we got the thing anyways. Uh, okay, we got no teammates here, so let's just back. It's okay. Am I still in this? Okay, I'm ghosting him. Oh, I think the reset thing. I'm ghosted and still. And I actually do have the reset, maybe. I, oh, I didn't get the five stack. I got the reset. There is the five stack. And yep, there it is, promoted to plan one. Got most damage in the game too, by a good amount actually, 5k, or 4k. <laughs> the post game chat. I think this is more higher ELO chat, where you can start getting the really good stuff. Bet your parents wish you were blank. Thanks for giving Riot chat filter material pog. Goodbye to your account pog. <laughs> I don't think post game chat actually matters for the chat filter, but I might be wrong on that. Either way though, that's plot one, and yeah, leave a like for more league, I guess.